Yeah. Not bad. And we're back. I feel like it was a little quieter this week. Did you turn the volume down on that a little bit? Uh, I will. I will review the tape um, after the show uh, for for. If we for, need it, you can fix it in post. For, we'll fix it in post. <laughs> uh, I, I hard to it's hard to say. I'm not going to change volume now because obviously then some I will ruin something. Uh, we, we you know we're out of practice. Uh, we're Off two to a weeks great out. start. Off to a great start. Uh, uh, back again. Uh, uh, life got in the way, which we will not get into. That is nope, for another show. That. We're going to skip that. Uh, but alas, we're back. We're back. That's all that matters. Pog form. <laughs> uh i'm 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 excited because i'm coming out of my retire my baseball retirement phase of the season so had a nice three-peat uh two weeks off and then we're going to start again this week we're going back into another three-peat we're going to go to the playoffs so I'm, I'm invoking my inner uh michael jordan uh gambling vacation phase uh, oh good i was gonna <laughs> ask you about who you bet on in order to get to this point, did you bet on yourself to get in the postseason? And the and the fantasy gods were like, no, 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 sorry. Oddly enough, oddly enough, uh, a friend of the show, Michael Ambender, did bring me my uh, hit my proxy uh, Chicago Bulls to win the NBA title bet, uh, hitting golf balls this weekend. So I have that in hand. Uh, what is the, What are the odds on that? Three hundred to one. Wow. Is that from like the beginning of the season? That was right from now? like three weeks ago. <laughs> yeah, I was like, hell yeah, wow. was that? It was yeah, a- I mean, they've been number one in the conference like for months now, almost, haven't they? Yeah. Oh yeah, he 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 was in I think CES time frame yeah. down there, and he told me the line, and I'm like, I put whatever you want on that bet, I'll pay you yeah, seriously, I'll pay you the money. That's like, great. Yeah, super good, and like I I mean I legitimately don't think they're gonna win the title. Like, but I think they have a a better than the 300 to 1 wide chance. open. Yeah. yeah, 300 to 1. I mean, they're they're like, what are they at worst? Even if, like, full strength Nets, full strength everybody. I mean, full strength Bucks and then them probably, right? Like, Yeah, I think so. Oh, like, like, trades aside, because the Sixers could become the best team in the East if they aren't yeah, stupid. They're not going to trade. So but they're not going to trade. Discount that. So they're not the best. But, like... Nope. Uh, especially with how the rookies, the young guys are playing on the bulls. Like I, I I'm obviously going to toot the horn, but like if they can get healthy, which they can't right now, which is just maddening. And like, I don't even know. NBA basketball right there. It's, but like, you know, and Grayson Allen. So we're not going to go there because I will get super hot because people just like taking out our players, but that's what sucks now. And I'm actually, the, the problem now is now they have a bunch of guys out there to come back right at the end of the season. So like Caruso, Ball, Patrick Williams is going to come back apparently, but they're all going to come back in like those last two weeks of the season. So there's always that problem of like reintegrating a bunch of injured guys. At least they have a little time to, yeah, to get them together. And at that point, you figure their their spots mostly clinched there. So it's like they'll just be working out the kinks and, you know, I playing so. those guys fairly limited minutes so that they don't get hurt again and trying to trying to refigure it out all over again. I hope so. Um, but I am excited by uh, by the young the youngins. Uh, Iota Sumo had a career high, broke the Bulls record for most consecutive uh, shots made uh, in a rookie season. He went nine for nine. Uh, nice. And and picked him up uh, as a handcuff. We'll get to that in a second. Uh, you so- uh, you managed to trick me into Bulls podcast hour. Well done. You got it. You got me. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm good at my job. What can I say? Um, Best in the biz. Uh, and and you're sporting uh, Mr. Simons, who is lighting it up. But but I know uh, you have been sad at his lack of usage uh, uh, for the Blazers, who should be uh, hitting hitting the buy 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 button on Mr. Simons. I think he is. Uh, he's getting he's getting good good amount of usage, but he should be taking like every shot at this point <laughs> because. <laughs> I mean, unless they want to pay him $20 million to be their fourth guard, uh, which seems like a bad idea, or maybe second guard. He's probably their second best guard right now, to be honest. Uh, but, like, I guess maybe you hide him so you don't have to pay him as much. I don't know. I don't know what they're doing. I don't, this team is like, even when they're good, it's maddening. It's like, no, you're supposed to be tanking now. Stop winning. Yeah, I, I don't think the front office knows what they're doing either. Like, they, they got, they got to, they got to just reset 
everywhere and they got to oh, figure they out what they're doing. They 100% want to make the playoffs. That is their goal. The front office. This year, they want to make I the think playoffs. So. If Dame comes back this year, you know that's their goal. Okay. That's yeah. unfortunate. <laughs> that's, their, that's, that's their goal every year. That That is more their goal than winning a title. I think if they I, – I, maybe that's changed with no Neil, but no Olshay, but – Part of me says that, like, if they were, if they had the opportunity to make a trade that would, like, completely punt this season, which would be something like a trading Rocco and Nurk and Little for Miles Turner and TJ Warren, both guys who may not play again this season, uh, would be a great tank trade. But I can't see them making it because I don't see them wanting to make a tank trade. Tank trade, tank trade. Uh, hashtag I, w- tank trade. I would be all for a tank trade personally, and then I could care about the draft, and I love caring <laughs> about the draft. And it's get... a really good draft this year too. So like, it's a good year to do like the gap year tank, the the Spurs uh, ninety six tank, or the, the, the Warriors the Warriors two years ago tank. We we need a whole show on the tank options. Like I I need we need Mikey on the show and you and him. Yeah. I'm just gonna sit on the side and it's gonna be you two should. Just, I'm just gonna not even be on the show. You two just like describe all of the varietal tanks that exists. I want, I'll make I want up broken like thirty down. more of them. <laughs> I'll just make them up. It'll be good. There's so many tanks. It's like a freaking fleet out here. Like it's we got so many tanks. I don't know. What's, I love what's the so word much. for tanks? What's the word for a bunch of tanks? It's that fleet, uh, right? Like a column. That's boring. Yeah, something like that. You don't. Anyway, want let's keep it moving. A battalion, battalion. You yeah, got a battalion go. of tanks. Yep. Yep. <laughs> All right. That's what the Blazers so, need, a battalion of tanks. Yes. Uh, we need to get a tank trade so we can have a battalion. All right. So uh, we, we did miss last week, um, but not much has changed functionally. I think we've, we've reached the stasis uh, part of the season. Uh, Amy's still up on top. Uh, Poop Madness up on the bottom. However, uh, he, things are looking up for Poop Madness. It did tie Mr. Uh, Mr. Ambinder last week. Uh, I'm sure to Mr. Ambrose's chagrin, uh, since he is yes. thick of the of the playoff uh, hunt. Nobody and loves the tie. I can tell you that. <laughs> Nobody loves that. Also, As the uh, league leader in ties. Also, it's the worst kind of tie. Uh, he bo- he he lost on the ejection uh, by triple double and ejection. He lost both of those. Yes, Anthony Edwards. You never want you never want a random ejection. He's um, gotten tossed a couple of times now. I think. Oh, really? I think he's had a couple. That would be a shame. He's I, having a good season. I, you know, he's, a, he's yeah. become quite the guy. Yeah. Uh, but definitely getting. I can only think that's the only reason he would only be like it, like 80th in the ranking. Uh, we'll get to it in a second. It's it's crazy. It's happening again. It's happened last season, but I'll, I'll just show it up now. Uh, so speaking of that, Jokic, back to number one. Not necessarily Doing surprising. Two ejections, though. So he's overcoming two ejections. <laughs> He gets a lot of technicals too. Like he is, uh, he is becoming very grumpy. Ingles th- is the leader in ejections this year. I'm wow. not surprised. He's dirty. He is. He is. He is quietly super oh, yeah, dirty he's super player. Dirty. He's super got that dirty. like Australian like hooligan dirtiness to him. Uh, also, annoyingly, Tyler Harrow has two ejections, uh, which is dumb. Uh, he's yep. he gets he gets complaining. What I think is helping now is so many people have ejections that the. The um, because as we learned last year, uh, this is a standard deviation measurement. So because now the standard deviation is closing with more people getting ejections, like the people with more, like because it's like two to one to zero, Jokic is like losing uh, his his negative impact for the ejection. So he's coming back up in the rankings. He also mm-hmm. is now leading in triple doubles again. So that he also had a 49, 14, and 10 last week. Does yeah. not hurt you in that regard. Yeah, so he is he's uh his oh he had three triple doubles in a week. Yep. <laughs> he's good at basketball. He, he, so, he is he is mildly talented at least. So he turned on the care button, basically, is what happened. I mean, they're still in playoff position. Like they're sixth. They're gonna get Murray back. They I I would not I would like do everything possible to avoid them in the first round if I'm like one of the top three teams. Not I would not, I would I would uh mini tank. I would uh you know or if it required to put everybody out there and play them 48 minutes in the final game. Like I don't want if if Murray comes back 
And it sounds like they're trying to bring Porter Jr. back this year too. Like if all those guys come back, like I want no part of them. Uh, not, not to like dig the dagger into my heart more, but like, I help like a non not functional Michael Porter Jr. Like that team's still really damn good. Like, Oh yeah. They don't necessarily need him, but he's, he's like probably if he achieves like the level that they envisioned for him, he's the ceiling raiser. No, but I mean like this season, if he wasn't just, you know, a hump of meat broken on the side, like they would yes. all, they would already be like substantially better of a team. Yes. Like it, it it's an interesting counterfeit. Like that team, that team's on, like, you got to feel bad a little bit because Jokic has been like, is like the best player by far. And like that team's just gotten really unlucky with injuries and like it has to even out at some point. Yeah. Like that's just how it goes. Um, Uh, Sabonis has a number of triple doubles, almost all of them in like the past two weeks. Yeah. He's up to fourth. Uh, Big man Sabonis. Don't have him this week though. I like uh, this, this season is and Van Vliet also big story lately. Wow. Uh, he is so good. He's I watched a couple so of good. Raptors games the last few weeks. He just doesn't, it feels like he doesn't miss. Like I watched this Portland game and he shot 31% and I can't remember him missing somehow. <laughs> like how I don't understand. Like I think he just, he's just good. Lots of steals, the stocks. He's just so Lots good. Of steals. On and, 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 and some blocks for such a short guy. And hits the free throws. He does all the keys. Yeah. I like this season. We have a very well balanced. Uh, yeah, there's some guards up there. Well, it's like half and half, even it's like. Yeah. Center guard, What's guard, center is guard. There's like no forwards. It's all guards, and bigs. It is like no wings. Like the first wing. Mom is, got no wings. Mom got no bridges. Like is bridges, yeah, bridges and Jerry Jackson Jr. Like it's like. It's like I a mean, trio also here. part of that is we're missing a lot of the key big wings. Like George hasn't played. Kawhi hasn't played. LeBron is what top two when when he on averages Durant has missed a lot of games a lot of those guys like a, a lot of the big wing guys number are one. older number one go. LeBron's number one on average that's crazy town wow. that's a huge difference Jimmy Butler is another one like all these guys have been in and out Durant. of lineups they just haven't played enough so I mean, they're all up they're all performing they're just not playing enough like that's it, 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 there's always a difference but this is a enormous inversion like at this point like james butler durant like Where's up there. On the average oh there he's Cut. way down there yeah so down to 12th uh oh. you know what they Don- say the best, is- abil- the best ability is availability right and Jokic is available stats gotta get mm-hmm. the stats uh, that is impressive i uh, yeah it's super substantial difference this season uh so yeah so um not uh, not too much movement uh but uh we definitely uh some big matchups this week uh i'm i am gonna hopefully come back on the last place team to start my my second uh triumphant run and you uh taking up the oh, number one crushed. league i'm gonna get crushed oh yeah i, I, have, I have no sabonis this week i have fewer games and now I'll, I'll, I'll hop into my rant. So uh, DeAndre Hunter, who is on my team and is playing quite well, you know, getting 20 a night the last few nights. See this uh, GTD there. Uh, mm. I didn't realize this, but he took he was the one who took the horrible flagrant foul from Ubre the other night. Uh, got like straight clotheslined out of the air and Ubre got tossed. Um, but, you know, there was no note of this on the Yahoo anything until today when he was declared a game time decision for tomorrow's game. But like, didn't you, so, didn't he already play at like, but you had him no, for Monday's game. No, he has not game. played since, no, he has not played since then. But, but you had him rostered. Yes. Like I had him rostered. I didn't realize that he had got murdered in the Sunday game. Oh, because Sunday. There was, That's because what there I, was I, no I, notification of his murdering. And uh, these are the kinds of things that were, more competent research divisions in fantasy sports would note in some fashion. I mean, it would be in his, it would be in his game report hit six of 11 shots got murdered. So, so the key is that you need to remember is Yahoo has owns actually nothing. And so these reports are coming from like random feeds. Yep. And 
that's the problem, right? Like it's like NBC better, Sports though. Edge. Do better. Do better. <laughs> Whatever Come NBC on. Sports Edge is. Yeah. Please do better, Yahoo. Get your research division on point. I don't know. Uh, they have all these stupid tools that like don't do anything, but like you can't like say your player in your lineup uh got dropped with a clothesline from hell. So like maybe you shouldn't play him. Um, I, I, I am being told in, in the ear uh, by the producers that the sources have said uh, the league will be reviewing its, uh, its uh, uh, proprietor uh, for next season's uh, matchups. So uh, we'll have more to come there about. Yeah, uh, I'm a little uh, worried about you. You're here. Are you hearing voices? Like what producer? <laughs> We are uh, the producers. Why, why do you have to ruin the bit? Why do you have to ruin the bit? I am the producer. Because it's all about transparency for the fans. We don't okay. lie to our fans. We're honest. That's why That's why there are millions of followers. Fine. All right. Well, so I'm going to look at it next year. Are you happy yeah. about that? So yes. much more boring. Anyway, I'm going to get crushed So because, because I'm dumb and didn't notice that. And also, Sabonis is hurt and poor caruso uh and other such things and i am starting something called goga uh <laughs> in place of sabonis so we'll see what, how that turns out Tadzi. oh man goga. no he only has he's one doing name. good goga. yeah he's, he's doing good i picked him up he's doing great but his name like what is a goga <laughs> who, who where did where did you even come from do you even go here who is this Herbert Joe, you got a lot of guys. Unky Herb, right Unky Herb, look at those steals and blocks. Look at those steals and blocks, my friend. So, so I know you're gonna maybe mention this, uh, but I'm gonna take this opportunity. This, and and even you, you got you got this is this is, you are the handcuff team right now. Like we're talking yes. about handcuffs. You are I've been like, Duarte, all year. Simon's Portis. Uh, well, look at my injury Goga? list. I have a lot of injuries. I know, but like, but like you, you are literally the team of the handcuff this season. I watch a lot of basketball. So like a lot of these times, a lot of these things happen where like, I will be watching a game. I literally was watching the game where Sabonis hurt his ankle. And I was like, oh no, pick up who is on this team. And then I picked him up. Uh, I did the same thing. Uh, and as any of the fans will know, my obvious Bulls fandom, uh, I strategically picked up a double handcuff in this case because double uh, handcuff. the Bulls have a running out of guys. And so Dosunmo and Kobe White are both on my team. Dosunmo is like an absolute monster all of a sudden because he's getting he minutes. Stuff. Yeah. Uh, and he's, uh, as we talked about last show, he is a starter. Like he starts and he does, he does the work uh, versus he comes off the bench. He's all right, but. He uh he he shines when he starts. I'm I'm a big fan. Some of guys him. are just better in a certain role. It's just is how it is. And he's good. Defensively. I mean, you got you got you got some guyness on your team here. Bagley, oh Desumo, Trader. There there's some there's there's some guys here. Uh, uh, my team is nothing but guys. I am the guy uh, team. <laughs> you're the guy guy. I mean, yes, obviously, like uh. I got Clark I, who I picked up after the last show during the last show. <laughs> um, How's he doing for you? Uh, he, he he did fine last week, but I had half my team ended up being out last week. So it was kind of mm. lost. Actually, he would have, he was a fine contributor. Uh, I think he's now uh, hurt again. <sighs> so, so yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm running out of East bench. Hurt. It's so he's depressing. Benched. Um, but uh, I, I got I'm get, I'm gonna get healthy here next week, so I got Trent Jr. back, uh, and I gotta get Harrow back uh, and Aiton. I, I just Bane's out. Like I just lost it. Like my if you look at the last three weeks in the Roto, I am horrifically last, <laughs> like, like the worst last. Oh, you certainly are. Yeah, like like, like all the counting stance. I I am the bottom because nobody's been playing on my team. <laughs> I'm right there in my uh, fourth position as usual, <laughs> like, like li- neutral, like last week, like literally last week I had nothing, <laughs> but I, but I led in free throw percentage and turnovers. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Cause nobody took any. <laughs> Let's see. Where you, we, uh, we? you are, you are solidly viciously neutral. Well, my turnovers are going down. Interesting. Are going, you have, you had a ton this week. You had, a, you had 102 no, turnovers. Go one more. Go one more over, and then you'll have my team. There it is. 
That's my team. Okay. That's that not is my good. team. But yeah. 102 turnovers is is insane. That is a lot of turnovers. Well, he has a lot of guys who touch the ball a lot. That's, That's part true. of my 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 handcuff guy like situation has definitely led to a drastic reduction in turnovers because I've got a lot of role players now. I mean, yeah. They're productive role players, but they're role players nonetheless. Like they're not star players handling the ball all day long. The uh, the the productive non turnover guy, I feel like, is a key. Uh, that's definitely key for Sandwich because uh, he's got Lamelo, mm, who sandwich. is who is very good at that. Uh, looking at the broad roto, and we'll come back to this in a second. But uh, uh, Joe, owns- I actually outboarded Sandwich last week. We were discussing it, and he was like, "How could you out rebound me?" I'm like, "I might be the only guy who can." Hold and- on, let's, let's just focus on this for one second. Offensive rebounds is like an exponential curve. So he. he Sandwich has 853, uh, by far the most. Your next was 723. <laughs> so 130 next, less. Uh, from one to two. And the next person's down under 700 at 690. And even Pretty then, close to me, though. And even then, the next person's under 650. Like, like it is a very steep curve. Well, if you look at it in terms of, like, the number of games played, though, how many is that per game? <laughs> It's like blah, blah. one one and a quarter, maybe. We're, like, we're fifteen weeks in, yeah. So, so I mean, that's you know, that's one a week. No, that's ten a week. Yeah. From you to him, that's a lot. That is a lot. Oh yeah, the delta between him and everybody else is huge. Is enormous, and so like yeah, yeah from from him to everybody that's not you is like almost two hundred basically, which is mm-hmm. crazy town. <laughs> uh, I have only. I'm not even last. Poop man is last 334. <laughs> Two and a half times that many, which is not, crazy not a rebounding budge. No. Uh, so, so moral story, uh, this, this, this week I think is going to be interesting. Uh, I'm going to win. Uh, you say you're going to get crushed, but like not showing it yet. And a lot of good, a lot of uh, important playoff matchups. We're definitely having some good schedules. Uh, uh, which part I think, of the reason is it's just very competitive. I mean, nine teams are alive for the six spots. Yes, and that that's cool. I like that. It's very competitive. I I I do enjoy uh, the parity generally of our league, and nobody is down and out quite yet, which is nice. Yep. So yeah, and it's if you look at the records, we definitely have everyone's kind of sorted themselves into their proper tier. We, I feel like. In the early going, Amy was kind of was kind of head and shoulders above everyone else, but she's kind of her lack of moves have had her come back down to earth in the last couple of weeks. So like oh, we've got has clinched the playoffs already, though, to be clear, six weeks out. Yeah. So. <laughs> Five weeks out. Oh, well, whatever. Uh, but you know, only only a game and a half ahead for first. Like could very easily end up missing the one two buy situation. Um so anything can happen. Uh, so she's definitely like maybe in her own tier, maybe maybe commingled with, uh, I would say with championship stolen and uh, Mister Loki. They're probably the next group. Uh, I might I would put myself straddling that and also in a group with Mikey, uh, where our teams are good, but like we've had some unfortunate bounces that have left our records maybe not not as good as we think they should be. Like of my four ties, three of them were like, I was winning the whole week and like just got tied on the final night. And then the other one was like a miraculous tie against Joe where I lost both ejections and triple doubles. And it was miraculous that I actually tied him somehow. Yes, yes, Um, we know you tie a lot. And I believe Mikey has a couple of similar, I think Mikey lost uh, like in one of his, he lost it or he was beating his opponent last week. And I think he lost it on the final game. And I think I he I think it happened to him one other time as well. So we're uh, we're kind of it. We're we're the tie guys. We dress nicely and we are mediocre. Uh, <laughs> and, and you're the business and, casual of the league. Yeah, you were. We yep. yep. <laughs> and then so we go. And then after that, we have a very interesting race for it's six playoff spots. Correct. Yeah. Okay, for that sixth spot, just to make sure. Uh, yes. That's six. Okay, good. Uh, just good because I did a bunch of research and it would be ridiculous if we'd got the format wrong. Uh, so one, two, three, four teams all within a game of each other. Uh, and 
kind of anything can happen at this point. Uh, we took a look at the, uh, you know, what everybody's doing the rest of the season, some of their stats. Do you want to start or you want me to go with the schedule first? Uh, uh, so did you, uh, do you want to go in order of current rank? Assume that's what you did, or do you have a general schedule statement? Uh, I went in, well, in general, the, the key takeaway is that Kawhi River has the easiest schedule coming down the, for the final five weeks. Uh, and then that is followed by uh, Sandwich, which is slightly below 500 going forward. Yours, which is slightly above 500. And Big Stack, who has a, has a pretty daunting schedule the rest of the way. So the records are as such. So Sandwich's to- opponents are a combined 36, 37, and 13. So basically 500. Uh, Big Stack's uh, final five opponents are 44, 31, and 9, Oof. which is, that's pretty rough. Yours are 37, 34, and 13. So a little bit harder than than sandwich and Kawhi's are 32 42 and 10 so well below 500 i have two points i have two notes big stack is 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 screwed because he's got literally the top of the bracket you know inclusive yeah (laughs) and that's it's it's two of the four that that are that he's vying for a spot with and then the top like two or three teams and he played you so no i mean like in the last seven weeks he's got the top seven teams like yeah (laughs) <laughs> like yeah, clear this, you know, pure. that's brutal that's uh rough. uh Kawhi river though has the most interesting schedule he plays me last week this might be this might be like it could be for the spot it could be for the spot and he also plays big stack sandwich like he 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 has the most saucy schedule because he's playing controls all controls his destiny yeah yes. he, he controls his destiny and he has the easiest schedule so uh and uh who else so Bigs, we got like that one. Poop man, and no, not sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm messing it up. There you go, sandwich. Sandwich uh, has a bit of a. Mix. But he's taking sandwich is taking the L this week, uh, probably because. <laughs> oh, he's already is he already down twelve bill? Oof, ten one now. <laughs> That's a bad start. Uh, it might be one of the. There's like four teams played last night and. Some people had games last night and some people didn't. So that's that's like why I'm ahead because I had four guys go last night. Granted, those four guys got me a combined like 40 points and like eight rebounds. Uh, they have the it same was game. horrible. They were they all have, so bad. Uh, yeah, that sucks. Although they do have the same games remaining. So that's not a good sign for for Mr. Sandwich. Oof. Uh, yeah, that the, he's definitely taking the L. You are yep. you are hundred percent correct there. Um, that's he. I mean, that's uh, that's my champ. That's my pick to win it this year is uh, twenty twenty. So getting his redemption. Hold on. Well, let's let's take a moment. Um, I I mentioned this before the show. I hate this team. You know, I hate this team. Here's why I hate this team. Because it has Harden and Tatum on it. That's why you hate that team. <laughs> Your two least favorite players, or two of your least favorite players. All right. I didn't even consider that aspect of this. But now that you mentioned it, it's like my the most hated team of all time. All right, no, I hate his team because, like, credit to his drafting, but he hit like eight lotteries on this team, and it's like infuriating. <laughs> I don't know. I I mean, like, Time Lord is maybe the only one that I would really say, like, oh my god, how did you pull that off? Like, uh, not pull off, but like. Uh, as we just looked, Van Vliet, while good, is he was a, he was a third round pick though. Like a third I, round pick becoming a first round pick is not like insane. It's it's the the Time Lord one is the one to me. Time Lord Kuzma, I think is you're underselling Kuzma. He's yep, been yep. really Kuzma good this season. Twenty and ten guy certified, but like he also was good too. Like he could have been. He, he, he was just he was just underdrafted. I think. I I, I think I don't disagree. I think he still perform like he's performing better than I think anybody expected him. Like he's perform- league wise, well, he's got an opportunity. Yeah, he never had opportunity. Like he, I had him last year. He was on the Lakers, uh, sitting behind all the big guys. But whenever Davis didn't play, he was twenty and ten every time. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, I uh, Triple J is is uh, while I agree one hundred percent, he's a good player. He's still like a second round player. He didn't draft him in the second round. Uh, Time Lord is way up there. Barnes, like he took a flyer on him. Good. That's a good pick, but he's playing crazy good. Yeah. So like, I'm just, 
he just hit he hit all the numbers and he so did. good Miles on Turner him also oh well, yeah T- Turner I think is like in line with expectations but like yeah. he also built around him very well whereas like he got one block guy who like you know basically gets you the block category every week and, and, then and did, time lord time and, lord also well he wasn't that before like I know <laughs> The reason he has so many blocks is because Time Lord and Triple J, they both are like blocking shots like it's going out of style for guys who like maybe you didn't necessarily think were going to do that. Yeah, is he leading? He's got to be leading blocks. I'm pretty sure he's leading blocks by a million. Where is he? Oh, yeah. Like literally a million. (laughs) He's almost doubled up. 325 is second, right? 381. 381. So but that's a lot of did more blocks. That's so much more. Uh, superfluous that's, blocks. As I like to say, I have superfluous boards. He has superfluous blocks. There's a lot of over-indexing this season. As we know, yep. we know O-Rebs, we know blocks. Uh, if you look at my turnovers, because nobody yep, on my team plays basketball. Lack of, well, you, uh, you, you kinda, your turnover thing is kind of flipped. Like That's all remnants of the previous, earlier in the season. Yeah, it's true. Like, you definitely uh, have a lot more turnovers now just simply because of Lonzo. It's true. Uh, so yeah, so that, so I'm, I'm annoyed at, uh, at champions of stolen, but I, I do. I respect I, it. I do agree. I think, I think he's there. So uh, you, you, we talked about schedule. So Kawhi, uh, so I took some notes on, on teams as well for the, for the bottoms, for the, for the sixth uh, seed competitor. So I'm going to go in order. Uh, okay, what, sandwich, what are your fun stats for each sandwich team? currently in six? So, so I have some keys. I have some concerns for each team. Uh, so sandwich, uh, as we already said, all about the big men. Uh, he's going to live and die by the big men uh, and whether or not he can get anything else. So I think keys for him are actually going to be uh, outside of like getting Gobert back, but like Grant is going to be really important. He needs to like balance out if he gets Jeremy Grant back. Well, Grant is not playing again this year unless he gets traded. Is, is he holding out? Is that what's going on? Or is he no, just he, iced? No, they're just not going to play him again if, unless they trade him because they're th- tanking. I think he's going to get traded, though, you think? They seem to be if shopping the, him. If the offer's there. All right, well, so that that's probably going to end. I think that's going to make it hard if he doesn't play. Uh, CJ coming back will be good. Um, but but uh, I think Sandwich is, is pretty over-indexed on the big man. I think he needs a trade if he to, to stay in it personally. I, I was like, I'll take a Mitchell Robinson off of you. But then it was like, why would I do that? I'm also big man superfluous. Doesn't make any <laughs> sense for me either. I'm probably the second most big guy superfluous person in the league. <laughs> exactly. Behind him. So he and I have no trade discussions to have. There, yeah, there, you're, you're like for like. The other thing I think that's also uh, notable is LaMelo's cooled off a little bit. So like. Uh, He's also missed some games. Yeah. Well, yeah. Either way. So like, I think like his roster worked when LaMelo is, is running full steam. Uh, and then if you lose that, I think he, he gets a lot weaker. So he, he needs, he's... he needs some guys who can put the ball in the basket. Yeah. Like that's like, he's got a lot of guys who do other things. Also what he needs to do. He has a lot of decisions to make in the next like week. Like if you look at his, uh, Ooh, like, yeah, bam out there. Like if, if Brooks and Grant come back, like who do you drop off of this lineup? Josh Hart is really the only one I can think of. I think Drummond goes. He's he's become a bit superfluous. Yeah. Drummond goes. He's, but he's just such a good handcuff. Like the moment Embiid gets off the floor, he's like 18. He's like a 15 and 18 with like three steals and 100% field goal percentage. That's fair. So, so you think- kind of have to hold. It's like It's like in fantasy football when you like always have to hold like, you know, this year it was Minnesota's running back handcuff because anytime he went out, he would get like 25 carries for 140 yards, two touchdowns. Like even if you didn't have the, the starter, you needed to hold that guy. He's also got Dort, who's like, you know, Dort. been off and on every team in the league this season. So he's got well, I some... believe also got tossed this weekend. Yes. Um he's got some yeah. he's got some he's got some drops. There's a couple. Plus. Yeah, there's two there. Hart and Dort. So moral story, um, he he's got work to do. He's not he is not stable. I think I think he needs he needs Lamelo to get to get hot again. He needs Conley he to be hot. Like a two for one type of trade. Yeah, where he, I think he so. trades two guys for like if he could package two of his like one of his bigs and then like a bench guy for a scoring guard that would be helpful. Agree. 
he should talk to Peter if Peter were paying attention. Because <laughs> they they could they could benefit each other both because they're superfluous in opposite ways. Agree. Uh, all right, so that so that's so that's Chris. I think he's gonna have a struggle. Big stack. Uh, we've already mentioned tough schedule. Um, uh, basically living and dying by by Jokic's quality, but also Vooch. The Vooch Jokic machine here uh, really uh, coming on strong. Really, the key for for Big Stack is setting his lineup and paying attention. Yeah, because Paul George has been out for months. And hasn't <laughs> said it, so he clearly has forgotten that he's in this league. I should probably remind him. Yes, uh, he's he's sitting in seventh with four wins with a guy that has a with a roster spot that's been dead for months. Yeah, uh, and Seth Curry also been out. Uh, OG Anunoby, I don't think has been. Uh, I don't think no, if he hasn't been setting no, he's his lineup. Healthy. But as I don't think he's the, he just hasn't put him in. Yeah, so so he should be much better. <laughs> Just by default, uh, uh, so more really the only key for Big Stack is um, playing the game. <laughs> yeah, all y'all probably got pretty lucky uh, that he did not set his lineup because he probably would be kind of in the me and Mikey tier if he had. I think so. Certainly, if he was making a few moves, he would have cleared out some chaff here um, uh, for sure. Like Thad Young, Thad Young, not not a real player right now. Like could have been in the no, draft. No, he doesn't play. Yeah, so Oubre like is not, is not good uh, for yes, fantasy. Wiggins is good. Ooh, it basically really like it's just like three guys and putting OG in as one of them. Like I don't know, you and me in our like five hundred moves, and yet like if he just <laughs> subbed in Paul George's roster space, he'd probably be better than both of us. Probably, probably. Uh, I mean, getting the first pick and having like an over dumb. an overwhelmingly better player than either of us have well you have curry ah like now, Jokic, curry, i don't i don't understand why curry is ranked as high as he is right now uh, it makes I mean, no he's, sense he's playing poorly threes we've talked his, about that right he's i, I think threes. i saw i saw a meme today that said the uh, curry's shot chart looks like tour dates five tw- <laughs> five for 21 fourth four for 23 eight for 18 that's incredible that's the yes. best dig yeah, of all that's time the best thing i had heard today so um but as, for me, Jokic is twice as good as my best player, like easily. I mean, from a stat perspective, like, so, yeah, yeah, like my team's terrible <laughs> in comparison to one of his per- people. So it's easy to uh, to sit on the tower and 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 throw rain. So more story, uh, if you can talk to uh, Danny, get him to play like he's in the house probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I'm not playing against him in again, so that's fine. <laughs> he he could he because he is playing all the hard player, all the hard teams. He could be an upset. I know he monster. could move me up the ladder. Yeah, he could be an upset monster. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm next. Uh, I'm so I'm last in the roto by a long margin. Um, and I'm not last in the league, so I'm gonna take a win there. Uh, I'm I gonna. Like you should maybe talk to Chris. I feel like he could be interested in a buddy healed. Uh, I, after the trade deadline, cause I want, if buddy goes to LA or anywhere where he starts, he he's not becomes, going to LA. Don't they have literally nothing. So well, I just want him to go somewhere where he starts. So that's why I haven't already tried to trade him because I think, I don't think they're going to trade him. I think they are convinced that their team is good as is. If that's the, if they, if he, if he doesn't get moved, I will be talking to Chris because <laughs> I got a lot of guys. You do realize though, the trade deadline, there will be one week left in the season after that. I, I, thought, I thought the trade deadline was like two weeks away. It's let's see. How many so weeks? One, two, three. So you'll be starting it. He would be, you'd be making a, a roster decision for him with two weeks to go in the season after the trade deadline. Oh, I have I have completely miscalculated uh, everything because uh, I did not. I, I so that there's 23 weeks in the league. Yeah. Three of those are playoff weeks. Yeah. I didn't forget. I about told that. So you five weeks are left. I said I'll, that several times. Yeah. Five and I, I, I didn't. I'm not believing you. Um, no, there's still six weeks. Never left. We're, no, no, there's still six counting weeks. this week. Counting this week. There's six weeks. OK, I'm still good. We're all good. Uh, so anyway, so I thought the trailer deadline is like two weeks from now. Isn't it February first? February tenth. February tenth. Yeah. Well, three like weeks said, left. Three weeks. Okay, left. you'll you have three games left. All right. Well, either way, maybe. Uh, so if Chris is out there listening uh, with the fans. Talk to me either way. 
Uh, moral story, I, I just need to get healthy. I had a bad streak here. And some of my, like, Bane, who was, like, my one of my big pickups for the season, he's out again. Aiton's been out. Harrow is was out. Ball's now out for, the, for functionally our season, which really sucks. That, like, killed me. Uh, although I did pick up his handcuffs uh, in the in Dosumo and White, which I actually are going to be like plenty producing stats because they're both going to be starting basically for the rest of the season. Uh, so I think basically my key is like, can I get healthy again? Uh, I like how your keys for like one person is like, you should make a trade. The other one is like, you should set your lineup. Mine is like, I did great. It just hasn't worked out for me. <laughs> no, no, I, I like I'm, but I made a bunch of moves already and then everybody got hurt. So like, I haven't actually had, my lineup with all of those people on it. (laughs) So I don't actually know how good or bad I am. Such excuses. I had five players last week playing games. I was, I was literally last in every category. We need to create a, a a league hardship exemption (laughs) where you could pick up a guy midweek. If like, if for every like three people you're missing, you get to pick up one guy and put him in your lineup. We Uh, need to like figure that out. Well, I'll, I'll take it under advisement um, yep. uh, under league. Talk, next talk to Yahoo and their lack of research division about it. Uh, but uh, more story. I'm, I'm, I think I'm happy where I will be next week with the people coming back and the categories I will be strong in. I think I can make a run. Well, you got to start, you got to go quick because you've got uh, the next three weeks after this one, you've got Mikey, me and Joe, and then Jason, you got a tough, tough schedule. I do, You're, but I think I compete well with all of you because I, I have already pitched the big man stats. So you are just like boarding against nothing for me. <laughs> so I mean, you're essentially seeding three yeah. categories then. Yes, but I'm but I'm very strong in the other ones when people play. So like that's why that was the whole intent of my trades. I still think they were valid because I was never going to get to big man stats. So I've, I will, I'm, I will continue to take issue with your game plan of punting numerous categories. In favor it's just of two. No, it's just two. Cause I still am competitive in field goal percentage actually. Um, like not if you shoot like 52%, but like, I don't, I'm not like a tank in terms of field goal percentage uh, with the people that I actually want to be playing, <laughs> playing. <laughs> yes. uh, and I actually get blocks. A lot of my, a lot of my wings get a lot of blocks. So I'm actually also not in the tank on blocks. So I'm not top but I'm not totally bad. And like, I'm super good in steals. I like will win threes every week if people play and then good in percent, good in field free throw percentage too. So like, I'm happy where I'm at. I'm a, I'm a six cat. I'm a six or seven category win at most though. Like, yep. I'm never going above six. And if somebody gets a triple double, I'm kind of, screwed. I'm also kind of a, I'm kind of a six or seven guy also. Like I definitely don't win field goal percent. I definitely like die on the percentages every week. And, uh, and then hope to make up for it with all the counting stats. Yeah. So, and I mean, as evidenced by like my starting centers this week are Aldridge and Bagley. Like that tells you everything you need to know. Two bigs. Yeah. When I play you, I'm going to have to think pretty seriously about my lineup and like maybe sit some of the bigs because. Yeah. It, you don't it, need it, many. <laughs> well, because I need many. threes are basically my third best category right now. And it's, and it's your first best category. And yes. so like, you know, I, I either need, I either need to punt that and just go heavy and like go really big and hope to win the percentages as well. Uh, the problem is my bigs are bad free throw shooters. I did not realize Sabonis was such a bad free throw shooter. That, that, that is a thing that did not occur to me. I it, had no clue. I, so two, two things, two critical things that are like, are like we, we should, at the end of the season, I, I'll, I'll do some stats. Two things I want to look at is like, who is the best uh guard low turnover high production guard i want to chart uh and who are the outliers and then high free throw bigs those are like the like free throw shooting bigs good yeah the, the high bigs. free throw shooting well, i can bigs. already tell you that that's uh what Jokic is one of those he shoots yeah. a ton of free throws um he's good at everything yeah. uh so moral story that's why I, he's the number one pick uh, like shocker. obviously yeah, like no question. So I, I don't I think I, I I'm going to struggle, but I have a chance still if 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 I can get people playing, because I think I'm happy with them. Uh, Lonzo going out, I think might ruin me because that was like, yeah, obviously a key. your prize acquisition. Well, let's see yeah. how the see how the handcuffs do. I mean, like if the Blazers trade CJ for me, like 
then Simon's basically, I mean, like Simon's in this month has basically been giving me Lillard's production on greater efficiency. And so like, if he, if, if they trade CJ away and kill his ball stopping, then like he will become essentially a, like a second, third round pick level guy. That is the benefit. Like uh, the, the guys, Dosunmo and White, both defensively are good too. And like, yeah. They, they are direct covers. So I, I think I can replace the stats. Uh, and you don't have to worry about them losing their value. Like, I I remember last year I had, like, Cantor all season. He was killing it because Nurk was injured. And I knew, like, the moment Nurk came back, he was going to be dead. And that was the case. But I just couldn't find – I couldn't get to a replacement for yeah. him quick enough. Or, like, no one wanted him because they all knew that as well. Like, I couldn't trade him either. So like it, it, you gotta, when, the, when you have the handcuffed, you need to make sure if you're riding those guys that they are actually going to continue to do those things and not like the starter comes back at the most inopportune moment. Yeah, for sure. Strong agree. Uh, so then last currently the fourth, but I think, I think the, in the, the driver's seat, I think in the driver's seat for sure is Kwame river started the season strong. Uh, and, and really the keys for him are easy. Uh, it's getting his depth back and then Durant and Davis, like he's, he has a lot, yeah. he's got a lot of firepower sitting on the bench and injured. That's going to come back. And like Davis just came back tonight. Yeah. Um, and you know, a point you made a couple weeks ago about LeBron, they're so far behind right now that Davis isn't going to be taking any nights off. He's going to be playing when he's healthy. Yeah, they have dug a huge hole. And so, like, that is that is the benefit of the Lakers and drafting people. Yeah, and they're clearly not – and they have, like, no draft picks until into eternity. So, like, they can't they can't do, like, you know, a temporary tank just to add a new add a new version of a tank in here. Uh, <laughs> a temp for, tank. <laughs> a temp tank. Uh, they can't do that because they'll lose that pick, I think, to New Orleans. I don't know if any of their picks are, like, high, very well protected. Uh, I don't know that. But – they have they oh basically every pick into like yeah you they know, have to play they when have, Bronny have, is retiring yeah they have nothing they have nothing else to do but play uh, and they're uh, totally salary capped out like they yeah. got it they they're in their run right now this is go for it time so like they can't punt a season yeah uh, uh, Kawhi's also been savvy on the wire uh, picked up Mr Biombo who's a double handcuff who actually outplayed his <laughs> the, who was sick. He was also sitting on the street, like they, they <laughs> pulled him. They pulled him out of nowhere, and as like a, as a hardship exemption. I know yeah. I said that earlier because of all the covids, and he played really well. And then they signed him for the rest of the year. Yeah, so and fun. He, I like he, that. That's cool. That's a cool comeback story. Super cool comeback, and he's putting up starter numbers. Uh, uh, out playing McGee for the spot, and that's that's wrecking me because. <laughs> Because I have the actual person who should be playing. There are games. there are definitely like positions in the league, and it's kind of similar to like fantasy football. Like in in the NBA, like there are positions where like Phoenix Suns center is going to like automatically be like a double double person. That's like, true. Yeah. No matter who you put there, because he's going to get passes from Chris Paul, and they play pretty small, so he's going to get all the rebounds, and they play and he plays big minutes because there's not. A ton of depth for the bigs there yeah so he's he's one of those that like phoenix sun center is a good good place to invest as a fantasy owner the uh the other guy who i completely forgot about that's been out for a ton of time is Rashawn holmes he just came back too uh Ooh. so so like a i know you and i are both big fans of him yeah he's a monster uh but he has not been playing for a while and so he's like been out for months i think right yeah a long time so moral story like this is a this is a top tier. This was a top tier team that's just been waylaid for about eight weeks <laughs> with injuries. Uh, so I, I, I'm pretty. I would be I'd be surprised if he's not in the playoffs. Like that would be a uh, uh, John Morant has been an absolute monster lately. Russell's playing real basketball. Like Jackson's playing probably real, but ba- Jackson's playing real basketball. This, yeah, this team, yeah. this, this is a better team than it should be. So, uh, we'll, I think this is both of our picks, I think, both from schedule and, and power. So, I think he'll be happy about that. Uh, we'll see what happens there. Just needs Durant and Davis, like you said. If no Durant or no Davis, then not going anywhere. But 
Yeah, surely. Like, yeah, he's got a bunch of guys. Uh, but that's true them. of everybody. Like, if your two top guys are not available to you, you're not doing much. Yeah, he's he's. I mean, with Holmes, I that think that's his first three picks. Durant, Davis, Holmes must have been his first three picks. Probably, yeah. Uh, and they all have been out for a while. Yeah, or functionally they've all out. missed significant pieces of the season. So uh, easy then. Kawhi River is going to make the playoffs. We're all going to be sad, and I'm going to be uh, riding my Bulls bet to the finals and get paid out next year. That's how it's going to work. I'm going to be happy with that. It would be great to collect and then gamble it all away. Yep, we're ending on that note. That's what we're ending on. <laughs> tank. We need more tanks. We need a bet tank. Yep, bet tank. We need a bet tank. Tank, tank, bet. Tank, tank, bet. Tank, tank, tank. bet. <laughs> a tank take. We could have tank takes. <laughs> Uh, I like take takes. Next week we need some take takes. <laughs> They're